Hi friends, welcome back for another week of our virtual Bible lesson. I am Miss Vicki. I am here with the Children of the Rock Church visitors. Thank you for tuning in. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. And then, of course, always a special shout out to my Children of the Rock Church. So we are going to go ahead and open up in prayer and dive into this week's lesson. Always, always pray how you feel it. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to have this opportunity to spend time with you, to devote this time to you, to hear your words, hear your wisdoms that you bestow on us. I pray that you use me as a vessel, that I may deliver this message as you intended, and that these hearts are just open to receive it. Dear Laura, I just pray that everyone here just hear the powers of your word and that it just speaks to them in every way intended. intended. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so we are going to dive into a lesson that follows um, from our lesson last week where we talked about the shipwreck and how Paul life was spared because on that boat in the shipwreck, he was a prisoner. And instead of killing the prisoners during the shipwreck, his life was spared. We keep seeing Paul life being spared. So it just goes on to show, you know, the protection and the anointment that God has bestowed onto him, okay? So we are going to be reading from Acts chapter 28, uh, verse 2 through 6, and then verse 11 through 14. So uh, this one is titled, Paul Bitten by a Snake. The local people were friendly and they welcomed us by building a fire because it was rainy and cold. After Paul had gathered some wood and had put it on the fire, the heat caused a snake to crawl out and it bit him on the hand. When the local people saw the snake hanging from Paul's hand, hand, they said to each other, this man must be a murderer. He didn't drown in the sea when we talked about the shipwreck, but the goddess of justice will kill him anyway. Paul shook the snake off into the fire and wasn't harmed. The people kept thinking that Paul would either swell up or suddenly drop dead. They watched him for a long time, and when nothing happened to him, they changed their minds and said, this man is God. Three months later, we sailed in a ship that had been docked at Malta for the winter. The ship was from Alexandria in Egypt and was known as the Twin Gods. We arrived in Syracuse and stayed there and stayed for three days. From there, we sailed to Regime. The next day, a south wind began to blow, and two days later, we arrived in Patoli. There we found some of the Lord's followers who begged us to stay with them. A week later, we left for the city of Rome. The prayer starter for this week is as follows. Thank you for fish and birds, even for reptiles and insects. Memory verse begins a new one this week. It is, I am proud of the good news. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. So a couple takeaways. Um, memory verse, I am proud of the good news. I always talk about... Um, the Lord's workers as delivering the good news. So that's always something, that's a term that I always use because we as Christians value what the word says as good news. So it's sharing of the good news. Um, the prayer starter, the takeaway I have from that is thank you for the fish and birds, even for reptiles and insects. So many of us think, okay, we love to see fish in the ocean. We love to see the beautiful birds. But even for the reptiles and insects, and that sticks out to me because we see in this week's story how Paul was bitten by a snake. And most of us may think, ew, snakes, creepy, crawly, they're scary, um, insects, they land on you, they touch you, they're little, you just want to smack them off. Um, they're annoying, right? But the prayer starter is saying thank you for all those things. And as you know, if you... If you know me, Miss Vicky, I have a pet snake. Um, um, and if you don't know, yes, I have a pet snake. So we hear, you know, the prayer starter, thank you for the reptiles and insects. We're thankful for even the things that we don't find as beautiful or not scary or annoying. You know, we're, we're thankful for the insects because I don't like bugs. I have a hard time with bugs. They're small. They get into places. They come in the house. They're creepy, crawly. And I just don't like things I can't see just knowing that it could be in my house somewhere, right? But they all serve a purpose. They all serve a purpose for something. So we thank God for that. And then we thank God for reptiles. They're scary. 
Um, they they could hurt you. Not my snake. She won't hurt you. Um, <laughs> and I'm not saying that because I own a snake. I know it's impossible. Um, if I owned a larger snake, then um, yeah, she might be a little scary and she could probably do a little harm. But no, um, she can't cause any harm to a human. Um, the most she can eat is her small rodents. Okay. Um, but we won't talk too much about that. Um, so we're just thankful for those things. We're thankful for all the things that God has put here because they serve a purpose. And as much as people tell me that spiders serve a purpose, I don't like them, but I know they must serve a purpose and they keep other insects away apparently. Um, but honestly, I could probably live without all of them. But I guess because they serve a purpose, if they weren't here, we may notice. So, yes, we are thankful for that. And, okay, and to go into the lesson takeaways. So the biggest thing I've been saying these past few weeks, that Paul is so protected. He was bitten by this snake and there was no injury to him. He didn't drop dead like they thought he would. Um, he shakes this snake off, this snake off, he holds it over the fire, and he's not harmed. There's no injury to Paul. So that's why I just keep dwelling on the point that when God has a purpose for you, he will protect you. He will make sure that job is done. Paul has a job to spread the good news, okay? That's very important. He has a plan. He has a goal. He has a job that he's supposed to do. And God is saying not anything is going to get in his way. God will protect you. He will move things out of your way. Yes, the bite probably hurt Paul. I imagine it did. But there was no other issue of him having um, venom running through him and him falling ill or him dropping dead for anything. So this is what God does. We have a job to do. And God is going to make sure that job is accomplished. So that's why it's so important to try to stay on that path. And I say try because we're not perfect. We are going to make mistakes. But when there is a job to be done, God is going to ensure that that job is done. He will protect us. We might get bit by a snake, but we won't die. God is going to anoint us. That snake won't have venom that's going to kill us. He's going to make sure of that, okay? And so in case you're ever wondering, have I ever been bit by a snake? Yes, I have, okay? But that's neither here nor there. I just thought I'd have a little fun with this lesson this week. And as we're just still on this journey with Paul, I think the lesson is just so beautiful to just constantly hear how God is protecting him. And whether you see it or not, God is protecting you. He's protecting me. Every time that you make it home safe, safely, that's protection. Because we hear that accidents can happen. Um, anything like that. And God's always watching over us. Not to say who people, the people that are not accident, that God is not watching over them. Um, there's a reason for everything, right? And I can't speak to the reason why bad things happen. But there's a reason for everything. Paul getting bit by a snake. That's not a good thing. But there was still a positive outcome in that, right? So I just, I'm just so excited to be doing this lesson with you and just hearing how good, um, you know, how good the, our Lord is, how he's protecting Paul, how Paul just has that anointing on him. And to take it back, we know Paul wasn't always a Christian. We know Paul is guilty of sin. But he's been forgiven and God has a plan for him. All right. So let's close out in prayer for the week. Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us engage in this message. To hear how you protect over Paul just really gives us reassurance that you will be here for us. You will protect us. You will cover us. We all have a purpose. And you will make sure that we complete that purpose as long as we stay on that path, dear Lord. As we know that there's going to be some pain with our good days, but you got us, God. You got us. And we just love you for that. And I just pray that even on our bad days, even with the snake bite, we turn to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, friends. Always, let's continue to be positive. Let's continue to love on one another. If you make it to service, Thank you for letting me see your beautiful faces. If not, we are here with this virtual lesson each and every week because I love you and I want you to have this even if we can't do this in person because 
the world is still in a different place than we knew from 2019, all right? So I just love connecting with you, whether in person or on here. I look forward to seeing you or reaching you through these messages. So let's continue to do our good work and spread our good news. Until next time, bye.